feet. So. But I have my eyes on one little um, breakfast restaurant as a waitress position, so I'm holding out a little bit only because there's another place I want to try to apply that's a little bit more American cozy. So just just to have an experience. So I'm really good at waiting on people, but as far as like having to deal with the back of the kitchen, I'm still working up to it. Because there's a lot it's a lot different than like a KFC kitchen. Completely different. So it's like trying to get over that O C D. Anyways. But yeah, um, so I'm driving my mom's car. We have a spare car in the family, the Durango. And as soon as I get this car fixed, I'm going to see what the blue book value is. And I'm going to either do a trade in like of an equal exchange or I'm going to try to sell it. And work it off that way. Or I might just ask like to see if I can drive the Durango and then work out something with my dad. But I want to get rid of this car. <laughs> I want to get rid of this car. It's an old car. It's an old car and it's not my car. Not like Jade. Not like Mercury. Which was the blue sable. So yes, Jade was the Taurus then. That was the other one. I had the sable and then I had Jade. Like my Ford cars, what can I say? <laughs> easy to fix, easy to maintain, easy to repair, and easy to actually counterfeit. Can you believe it? You can counterfeit Ford cars after a certain year. That's how I know. Like somebody fucked up my car. <laughs> kind of like a Batman Returns type thing, like little tool device, you know. Just like it's easy to puncture a hole in the fuel injector. The thing that connect like, it's the opening and it's like the thing that connects to the fuel tank. Easy to puncture those in foreign cars. How do I know? Because I own one. <laughs> Bought a lemon. That's against the law. In Michigan, you don't do that. Especially at an age like, of like 19 into 21, you can all start selling over a lot. You just take it as an experience. And you just learn how to be an airhead car girl for a little bit. Get a lot of perks from it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is what happens when I don't have all my stuff all at once. Because I am. I'm over here saying I'm going to grab that necklace. I'm going to grab another necklace. And another necklace. And another t-shirt. And before you know it. Before you know it. It'll be here and I'll be super even more pissed off because it wasn't here like right when it should have been. It's okay. It's okay. It'll all come together at once. It'll come together at once. I swear to God, they need to add another freaking. They need to add another freaking set collection to this one star. And just do F asterisk 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 you. What that girl's name would be, I would have no clue. <laughs> be that, don't care. <laughs> Wouldn't know. Wouldn't know. Although the Alexa collection is really nice. I like that. I like the Alexa collection. But I actually like the Cali collection. The Cali collection is really, really nice. That's the new that's the new layout of the store. So it's like we picked out one, two, three, four Forever 21 Barbie dolls with names on them. And then that's what we went with. The bedroom eyes is now Sophia, which I think is pretty cool. I like that. Sophia meaning wisdom which was the name I couldn't remember, so it just goes to show you anything that's, like, pertaining to the brain IQ. I'm not going to be able to remember, like, after you tell me. It'll take a few minutes. But it's a really nice collection, and I wish I had, like, the ability to wear it, because, like, when you go into work, you have to be mindful. Like, you don't want to wear this type of stuff when you're working, because people do ask, like, do you work here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty sure I work here. I'm pretty sure I work here. 
may not have a lanyard, but I'm pretty sure I work here. <laughs> okay, what can I get for you? I don't know, I kind of want this and I kind of want that. So, yeah, so you can't wear bedroom eyes, because if you wear bedroom eyes, it don't look right. One girl is able to wear it and pull it off, which I have to give her kudos for, because if some of us were to wear it, we would be told we need to look a little bit more professional, which is fine. I can't get into L, though. L is like what was before home on the range. And that's only because I like to keep my bell bottoms at home. <laughs> I, just, I just do. Just do. Because we did have like a little Beatles group similar growing up. Which would have been the BSB and NSYNC. Oh, we're, we're not going there. Although someone could argue, is that not Cali? Is that not Cali and Sale? Well, it depends. It depends. It depends. I'm like more music history and art history when I put my clothes together for work. So, I still have my eye on that Matisse t-shirt. It's a really nice t-shirt, and there's another one that was really nice too. The organic tees are coming out, so you might want to save up some money for that one. <laughs> we got like recyclable jeans and stuff. It's cool. It's nice. more reason why you don't want to touch and put it to your lips but I do it's like touch touch let's test it out let's test it out just kidding oh everything a five year old would do touch this touch this touch fantastic <laughs> fantastic the whole culture is on your lips right now. Fabulous. It's like when you want to give it... Unfortunately, you have to give it this like little funky cotton swab. And this little red thing. And then like put it on their lips and then put it on the little red thing. Just to see the little culture grow. And I had my thoughts about... Stealing that stuff out of the nurse's aide's hand. Those are always fun. You wouldn't wanna you wouldn't wanna like take that for a day and have fun with it? Oh my god. Oh my god, after you just like sat in school and read an article about how many germs are on a doorknob. <laughs> Swear to god. Swear to god. Funny as hell. <laughs> Damn. Especially right now, I'd give out an experiment to see how many kids could like fill up a box full of these little red circles with this little like medicinal gelatin that captures cultures and see how many of like germs and bacteria they capture within one day. <laughs> get a request. Can we get another box? I have one more house to you know to touch on. Okay. <laughs> That's a fun thing to do. You guys don't laugh about that. Don't make fun of that because it is a fun thing to do. Because you always want to test out if, if what you're reading is true. Right, Ian? Like, do cats really need what food? Huh? Like, do cats really need what food? It's just, like, mechanically processed stuff. Hmm? Can they live off of grains? Yes, they can. Yes, they can. The baby. The baby. A baby. He's frisky. Pumpkin touched one of his mouse, one of his mice. Oh, he not happy. He not happy at all. Like she was using it as a toy. It was funny because I did say something to Pumpkin. I was like, don't become a cat. That's not what you want to do. Go grab another toy because she's still got the flying geese that she hasn't torn up yet. And she's still playing with the head of lamb chop. So, it's cute. It was cute though, but I'm not liking it. So I have to figure out a way to go get him more mice. And he has enough. I think he's just super pissed. Because she, because it's up here and he smells it. Obviously, uh, see, cats are funny. They're funny and they're, they're funny like OCD creatures. They really are. Earlier. So. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. One day at a time. One day at a time. 
So we are going to continue going through to 2024, right? Okay. Okay. Because there's other things you can give to the stupid lawsuit, man. There's other things you can do. <laughs> Considering there's like 1,056 people that he can pull with like 21 pairs and do a inter full interpretation on. That takes about a year. It takes about a year, trust me. One day per person. <laughs> Because he's, he, he, he's being stupid about it. That's how I know. That's how I know. Oh my god. Ugh. The belly. Who got a belly? You need. You and Pumpkin need to let. You need to let Mirma eat. You're not letting her eat. I'm not like in this pizza alpha game. I should have known better. Should have known better. If you drank out of Pumpkin's bowl, she went and ate out of your bowl. And then what happens to Mirma? <laughs> For Mirma. The most innocent little lamb in the house. And you two just seem to happen to do stupid shit. Remember? That's Mermer. But on that, we having fun with pumpkin. We having fun with the dog. Mm, we're having fun with the dog. And I'm having fun still trying to figure out where that purse went. <laughs> I lose another medal. Like I did that one day I wore it. I put it on and the medal fell off. It's my second place Royal Oak medal. From a doubles tournament. I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> Uh, that's a clue. That's a clue because all, all my medals have like the little ring at the top, like crisscross, so there's no way it could come off. Could come off. Fucking thing dropped in my hand. <laughs> we ain't gonna call the cops. We ain't gonna call them all the cops. It's, it's called common courtesy. It goes back to the Charlie Brown Dianetics that if you have a hundred children in the neighborhood, okay, eventually. The one that, that's being stupid is going to get 99 kids to say, you need to cough up. Cough up or buy me a bag of candy. We'll figure it out. <laughs> get little tra little kid traps. See, you want a bag of candy? Where's the purse at? Where's the purse at? You want that candy? You gotta write a confession statement. <laughs> you know, those little fun things. I won't be asking that, I'd just be asking about the hell you took it, that's all. I like how you took it. Come here, Ian. Let me get a sneeze, one, two, three. buy me two new face masks because it's buy two get one free but if you buy a pack of three you're good so you can wash my other ones yeah 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 please stop it oh, candid <laughs> mommy learned that word yesterday too I thought I don't agree with what it says, but candid. Just like I don't agree for honorable, noble, this junk word. What was it? 22. Overt. That's short for over it. 
These are my favorite. I don't know if you can read that. I don't know what an owlet is, though. No clue what an owlet is. I like the bendy and patchwork. Patchwork word searches. Those are fun. Those are fun. What is technically a bend? That's always a good question. Once again, it goes back into the physics classroom, all the, all the relativity questions. What is exactly a bend? What is exactly a collision? What is exactly momentum? How can you see it? How can you truly capture it? And is it a collision? Now we're into like the corridor that leads to the philosophy classroom. What is logical? What is motion? What is motion? Oh, that I so could make a funny. <laughs> I did motion. I helped moved it here. And no cost to anybody. Not to me. Not when it comes to divorce. Nobody should be. Nobody should be filing like more than zero dollars on a divorce claim. File it together for free. So stupid. So fucking stupid. These are fun. Have you played these? I don't know. Somebody might have gotten the bug. Square lines. I wish they'd do more of these things. These are the coolest things ever. Coolest things ever. Although I don't agree with how it becomes a Venn diagram. Don't it look nice? Don't it look nice? It looks nice, doesn't it? <laughs> There's a certain art to it. There's a certain art to this type of word surge. See, this is where I want to throw it in Ted's face. Because if I got, if I gave you a highlighter and said that's all you had to work with, what would you say? Go out and go buy me a pen? No. Figure it out. You make it. Now this pissed me off. Who the fuck would go, who the fuck would go and grab my recipe card and, and make it a word search? Like, this is like not cool. Oh my god. No. Almost done. Almost done. Alright. I gotta go back to sleep for another hour. I'm gonna call the courthouse and see if I can... If I can fax over the forms and stuff. So. I think I posted up on my file. Michigan filing. I think it should be enough. Because I did respond to it. There, the court case does exist. You can upload it to add to the case. And I did. So. And I each served it. Except to the plaintiff. That's because he's being represented by a lawyer. I don't know what more else can be done. The only thing I didn't do is proof of service because that's not my department. So, because he's being represented by a lawyer. For me to show up if there's been, I guess it's like I checked now, and plus I put verbal and domestic abuse, which I did present to my lawyer a while back. That could be the issue, but then like the issue was what was my married name? What was my name before I got married? Oh crap. <laughs> it's 
So I put up what well, is the current law in the event that the, there is a petition of a name change prior to the divorce, whatever the name change is on all the documents is what the new is what you would answer to that question. I'm pretty sure there's something about that. And so I put down all the semester ready. So what's that? You have, to be, you have to be current with the times. But somebody could argue that it's technically the, what I was born with, but they changed that on my birth certificate. So all the documents that I have of my, my stuff is to prove what I was before. Not what I am now another philosophy question oh my god oh my goodness does it matter whether or not the identity has changed no <laughs> no AI is part of philosophy because you can actually argue that every creature and every human person has a serial number attached to their ass and really that's the identification that God goes by <laughs> Because when we go into heaven or hell, we're scanned in by that fucking barcode. Not by a name. Let's not go into that legal debate. Killing somebody and then attaching a different name to that person. That happens too. That happens too. All the fun things that I missed out in college these past four years. Holy crap. Do I wish to go back? No. 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 Alright. That's one hour of me. I had to make up for the past two days. You may not hear from me for like a week. <laughs> so. Morning. I have not been feeling good and being up two nights solid in a row and then using this as a using this as a way to go to sleep is not helping. It's not helping. So I've accumulated like six hours in total from two naps. The last night I finally crashed, so I didn't get to any type of quilting, which you don't do when you're dizzy or tired. Um, especially when you're sewing like a pro without any guides or rulers and things like that. So this morning I filed the paperwork, the counterclaim. When it asked if there was domestic violence, threats and abuse, answered yes. I did ask for fifty five hundred dollars to cover the cost of one credit card. Um half of it I actually may go on one whole entire credit card um because in all honesty, if I were to try to pick out everything, it would end up being on one credit card. And then the rest I'll shoulder. So that's the whole thing about being in the, like the one in the tuxedo versus the one in the wedding dress. Um, I mean, even though all the credit cards have cash advances on it, he could argue that all the cost was to support myself. Which wasn't the case. It was the case to support all the debt we had accrued for the move back to Michigan. So once again, it goes back to the case that he's not getting paid enough from any of his employers right now. Um, and that's e that's an easy budget case that to figure out. If there's not enough money coming in plus 20%, which he wasn't making 20%, and if he was, he was putting it into surgery. So once again, also another claim that he's addicted to surgery because there's something that took place in Aruba that I caught him doing that I had to... Uh, do the same act as well so yeah OD on like if it wasn't it was like one pill because I can't handle that type of medication but I caught him doing one extra pill of a painkiller while we were in Aruba this is like uh, one year before he proposed I think it was the same year sorry the same year we he proposed me the same year we were about to get married I think I think 2013. No, that sounds right because the following year we were supposed to, we ended up getting ready for Indiana. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, because I was trying to find out, like, how, who my bridesmaids were and all that stuff. Anyways, like, the proposal date was important to me. It was, like, supposed to be my, like, whole vacation. <laughs> so, and being with his family was... Uh... Anyways, so, yeah, so I filed. I answered the question. I asked for the debt, part of the money to cover a cost, even the vehicle repair cost. His was, like, 500 So, if I have to cover it, we're gonna... He's gonna be in big trouble. Because technically he was supposed to pay me back on it. Um, other than that, I really don't care. Um, I almost want to come close to filing a restraining order so I don't see him. Because yesterday I went on my way to get the car fixed. Which is a prestigious name to go get your car fixed by them in the state of Michigan. So we'll leave them out. Um, because they don't they don't need this type of um, this type of advertising. But it was evident that it was almost like it was out, like, out in the open. Usually when you need to go to the bank, you go to the bank in the afternoon. If you're, like, a busy person, you don't go first thing in the morning. So it was obvious. Uh, having enough heartbreaks and breaking those hearts on the guys, I, I kind of know. Plus, I also know when, like, like know what's, like, I guess, how should I say it? To be the type of girl that got her heart broken before the guy, before like you could break the guy's heart. Because it comes with a lot of giggling and it comes with a lot of like in your face, let's stay in, you know, let's stay in the limelight where he's at type thing. So I was like, so I don't even remember when I think it might have been high school, but we were both doing it. So it wasn't like, I guess, I mean, if you put us together and if you did like an IQ test, we had it close to the same IQ and we have close to the same type of ego. So it might have been more like butting heads to who said, I think we should break up first and who did it better because I had like I had actually I had actually kept asking him and like he wouldn't get an answer. So I says, well, yeah, maybe we shouldn't be doing certain things then. I know I said that because that's like typically me. I wasn't the type to say, well, what more can I do type things. Usually that ends up meaning like sex. Cause you, that, that, that's usually how it goes in high school. But no, that's not how it went. I know that's not how it went. Because I know what outfit I wore. And what outfit and that outfit I got rid of too. Right away. So I know exactly all the outfits I wore with him. And I have the pair of jeans for, from Valentine's Day. I was extremely sick. So, so I missed out on that outfit day. So that's the only pair I haven't been able to get rid of. But other than that, that's EM. That's EM. I'm sorry. I had put on a mask. <laughs> I had put on a mask, and it is a box from China. I put this fucking thing on. The whole entire hour I had this mask on, I was itching like crazy because I had like three masks. I had the one my mom had bought, which is like from U.S. And then I had I had to get rid of it because I was starting to smell something awful. And it was plus spreading this even further. So now I have like a complete colony right here and it's like all scabbed up and bleeding again. Not the greatest, but I had put on this mask from China, and it started to create a nice little rash over the acne that I have. So I've been trying to treat that as well. Oh, oh, so itchy. It was so itchy. Luckily, I had a cloth mask, but that's not something I recommend. I think personal masks need to be used at all times, and if you're able to get your hands on really good surgical mask, then treat that like a rich commodity. But this thing itched like crazy. I had a, I had a rash developing over here. I think it's still here, like right up here. And then I know for a fact this is still calming down, so I got a big boo boo. But it's a fine here in the state of Michigan if you don't wear one. It's five hundred dollars, so I don't care. <laughs> I'll tolerate the itch. So in the event that you do get one, you are to cure it with hydrogen peroxide one application. If it gets out of control with redness, you are to apply cotton balls of milk onto the skin to calm the skin area down from redness to the cheek color that it was before. If it gets worse, yes, you are to seek medical attention. 
that comes from good old Mary Kay Cosmetics. <laughs> Other than that, yeah. So today is another day, and tomorrow's another day off. Couldn't get to any unpacking for the garage sale, but luckily, what it is is not like fine details, like throwing out stuff that you can't sell, putting it in a container so it's out of the way. So May 15th, 16th, and 17th, we shall see. We shall see. It is popular here in the state of Michigan to have these type of sales, unlike the state of Massachusetts. So last year there was like an estate sale that went down that went on down the road. It seemed pretty busy and happened. So we will give it a try here. It's going to be nothing more than clothes. And as soon as I get the rest of my freaking stuff, hopefully dishes. The only thing I'm not going to be able to sell is the gaming systems. That's actually a treat to me. That's a big time treat to me. So, but I don't care for it now. Right, Am? Right, Am? Yeah, you guys, you see the key cat? You know, your sister's handling the doggy stress better than you. <laughs> the dog wants playmates. The problem is, is that the cats go up near Pumpkin. Mind you, Pumpkin's a girl. They go up near Pumpkin. And pumpkin goes and jolts. It's a jolt lunge, but it's like a it's like a stop jolt lunge, and it's just like it scares the cat. So it's almost like she's being like a little Halloween bitch. Like seriously, because that's not that's like a jack o' lantern move. That's so jack o' lantern what she did. Even I know that because it's like it's it's not like let's let me like come up to you and lick you and then like let me sniff you and then like you know that I'm like a friend. No, she's playing like a little jack lantern, and, and it's just like, w w why would you do that to my cat? <laughs> so the same way she plays with the laser light is the same way she's attacking the cats. <laughs> it is an attack on their argument, but it's like I I just I just playing, I'm just playing. But that one doesn't like it for a fact. He like gets all bunched up and scared and. Like wire bristles for hair. For her hair. I mean, it's funny. Miriam, on the other hand, is really getting back at her. Like she tucks herself in a corner and just drives the dog nuts. One brain. Like I can't get you out. Gonna, when you get out, I'm I'm seriously gonna like just do what I do all the time. It's cute. It's funny. But Miriam's focus is the birds. You can kind of tell because, whew. She gets, she does, she comes back, she's coming back at like 8 o'clock at night to bed. It's like, I, I'm done, I'm done for the day. I've, I've seen the birds, I've touched on the birds. I'm, I'm now back at like 8 o'clock routine. Before it was like midnight, I was like, what are, you, what are you doing coming in at midnight? I gotta get up. So, yes, they are in bed by 8 o'clock waiting for me now. Whereas before it's like, let's wait until mom gets to bed. They do have a routine, just like anything else, like every other animal. Don't ask, don't say that animals don't have routines, because that's a lie. That's a complete lie. That's like saying a deer doesn't have its own little path to go through in the woods before getting shot. <laughs> the baby. That's another phone call. We're state shut down, people. The baby. It's Eom. Seriously need to be a scarecrow cat. Something. When a dog jack-o-lanterns you, you gotta be something else. And being an armadillo is not something you wanna do. Like, oh my god, if you pick him up, he curls up like one. It's not really fully because they curl up on their backs. This one, this cat actually curls up into, like, armadillo form. Is that what mommy's got to do? We got to play that movie for you? Yeah. You don't need to play that movie. I need to finish watching my TV show. Mommy, yeah. Yeah. Mommy's going to try to sell her car. 
Mommy seen Jade. I found Jade because the mileage adds up. I found my old car. I want my old car back. <laughs> Before I had gotten into the, this fucking thing called an escape, I had a I had a beautiful green. It's actually a mix between Sade, Jade, and Mint. So it's got this like it's almost like a bronze green. It's a beautiful bronze green. So it was like I thought that was it a Taurus. It had to have been a Taurus. It had to have been. Otherwise, the other one would have been... What the hell would have been its equivalent? No, I think it was a Taurus. Beautiful. Beautiful car driving. It was heavy. It was light. At the same time, zero. Zero maintenance. Other than the oil change in the tires. And that was a... This car was like goddess. It was seriously goddess. Oh, I was so pissed when I had to give it up so pissed because I had hit a mileage that I couldn't afford to continue keeping if the, if I had to like maintain it I think it was like at 88,000 miles so at 88,000 miles you got to start worrying about it like completely falling apart at the hinges and at the screws and then at the bolts and everything oh it was beautiful it wasn't it wasn't there but there was something there was a repair on it that needed to be done and I said like is it a big deal no, but it'll continue having a need to be repaired, so I had to repair once, and so I had to get rid of it. I'm like, oh, that sucks. But I see that she's back. I see that she's back, and some good guy took care of it. So, let's see about that. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I am. I love you guys, but I hate you at the same time. You guys gave me this cold. I didn't have this like nagging cold. Mommy did an actual commercial of peels. I took all the clementine peels and I put it right back in the bag. <laughs> I said it peels. So high in vitamins. I could have ate the freaking rind at this point, you know. With what you and your sister did. I swear to God, they did this. They. This litter box thing is not cool. If you don't talk to your animals, that's a crock of shit, too. That's a crock of shit, too. I believe Married with Children had that had that th throughout their show. You know, we're having a fun time watching him. There's a sunroom we have. When you look up, the, there's a reflection at nighttime. So it reflects inward. He sees his reflection, he bolts the other way. <laughs> Dog watches him like... <laughs> once again, once again. Course, everybody will pick fun at this, but you shouldn't because you guys do this all the time too. It's just somebody's bringing it to light. <sighs> I don't even want to go to work. I just want to stay in bed and sleep. I try to find like a, another piece of jewelry like I like these tiny ones and I may have to buy it from where I'm working at and I don't want to it said there's a cute one I like this one this one's got like mini mini pearls along the way it reminds me of the of the one necklace I had during the entire year of sophomore while playing tennis that was like my charm necklace so I might grab that and might wear it along with this so, that's one that I've seen. There is another one that I've seen too, but I don't know if I want to start wearing butterflies. i seen a key cat one, and I was like, no. I swear, I am. I'm going to start wearing everything everything that looks, everything on my jacket I'm around my neck until somebody comes back with those three fucking medals in my purse. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. It'd be really nice if they brought it back. 
kind of hard to, to say that somebody in the store stole it. So I'm, I'm being really obvious about it. Because I do have a pin that's got a little monarch paw. Like I said, if we had that, I'd wear it right now. Along with the pearl, because every single metal is like a pearl. So I just might. I just might. And I can't find a face mask that has pearls on it either. <laughs> so. I'm really pissy about. I'm really pissy right now, because all my freaking stuff and I should have a right to be upset because I can't get my rackets back like that should have been the first thing that should have been handed to me because which which was in the freaking apartment and then my bowling ball also in the apartment also should have been given back to me like none of my Luca Brassies should be like waiting for me to come get them oh I'm so mad completely pissed the fuck off <laughs> It's okay, but mommy, mommy can, mommy can wear as many freaking obviouses until somebody gives it up because I know they took it. I know they took it. There's a line that was like similar to the KFC line that I had to read, and that's when I think I stopped. I, I think I didn't bring my stuff with me for a week. But when you work in retail and you're in the mall, you have to bring your stuff with you for identification purposes. Because there's a lot of things that can go on. It's not like KFC where if you work at KFC you don't have to bring your purse, you leave it in the car and then during your 10 minute break you go out and go get what you need and put it in your pocket. Here you can't do that because you're constantly bending, picking up stuff, folding stuff around customers, customers that know how to pick pocket and things like that. So it's not like working with co-workers. But, yeah. I tried to go find another movie yesterday. I'm really bored with the movies I have, and I just couldn't. I couldn't find craft that wasn't there for three dollars and thirty-three cents, and I was just like, "Fuck it." So I may buy it off of YouTube. So, that's a good movie. That's a good Freud movie of interpretations. Yeah, when was that? Tenth grade. Tenth grade is when I sat down and finally watched it through. It is a pretty good movie freaking out and stuff like that. All the funny stuff that people do. <laughs> Anyways. There is that, and I think there is, like, Twister, Twisters, and I wanted to watch Twister so bad, because it, like, this whole, like, divorce thing. Like, the lawyer told me I had 21 days. It just felt like I was chasing tornadoes. That's all I've been doing. Of course, I'll be chasing more afterwards, because usually when you hold out, and you're, you're the one in the tuxedo. <laughs> get to chase the tornadoes that the other one don't want to chase. Good thing the car's taking half the beat. Because <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Oh, by the way, by the way, this should be a really good, good, like, D question on a physics question, AP physics test question. In the event of all this collision taking place to the car from parts A through C, is it possible that the windshield also took a crack hit as well? <laughs> you, you politicians don't get that humor because it is a humor. That's no different than saying that you drove so fast, you hit, you collided, you know, there was a collision with one of your tires and it hit a rock. Did that, is that tire likely to like blow or, you know, or, you know, be a pop tire the next time around you hit it like a tiny pebble? <laughs> Those are the greatest questions ever. Those are the greatest questions ever. You always write down yes. You always write down yes. Always. To be honest with you, anything connected from the headlight to the hood, to the hood, to the side of the frame that's holding the windshield, it, it, there's a thing called vibration. It's not vibration. It's vibration because that's exactly how it happens. It goes up and up and up. And whatever, like, tiny, tiny, tiny little chip you had, it <laughs> emphasizes the fuck out of it. Because I can tell, like, the, the chip, it's actually a crack within the glass. So, which means that the impact of the metal hitting the headlight was pretty, was pretty fast. Because the headlights, the headlight covering, if you look at it, it's like cheap glass. Uh, not cheap glass, it's like cheap plastic. 
So it's like, holy crap. Sorry. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? At least nobody got killed. And I really think the metal came off the truck because I seen another car with like metal flapping in the, like it's bumper flapping in the wind. And sometimes the trucks have these like little fancy little fucking things in the front of the bumper that probably came off it. It sure as hell didn't come off from like the hell that it's called a, uh... oh shit. It was like the, what is it called? It catches the mud on the tire, on the back tires. Um, so it, I'm pretty sure it wasn't that. Usually those are rubber. This this thing, this thing is big. This thing is huge. 18 inches by 12 inches, and there's like an additional six inch that I didn't get to see. So. Then it caught it out of this eye, and then this partial eye, because I was trying to swerve that way. So you need to use this eye too. To look over your shoulder to see if anybody's in, you know, in your lane. It was just too much coordination all at one time, but luckily it was an easy fix. <sighs> yep. Yep. Okay. Do you see how much better the bed is now that mom took out the comforter? That fancy piece of crap. The heating blanket, a nice clean pink, nice clean pink, it's, it's a comfy blanket, okay, and clean bed sheets. No itchy, you should see the welts I've gotten from all this. No itchies, no itchies. We're sleeping in one position longer, and Mir Mir is coming up to bed on the pillow, okay? Let's keep it that way. Complete freaking mess on my on the bed. Complete freaking mess. Oh no, my whole arm is like bent. And I don't know what the hell it is. I thought it was fleas at first, but usually there's a certain there's a certain welt bite that I get if it's a flea. Yeah, yeah. Arium had something on her. That's something on her. Mommy got that bad. It's not a big deal. Mommy also got a tick bite. A tick bite too. <laughs> it was a little bite, and then it was a little nothing. It's so proud. It's so proud. It's not every day I get to go hiking out in the wilderness. Okay. Do you know how, like, how bad I wanted to find these little tiny things to see if these were these tiny little mites that we had in the house? Oh my god. Plus it's kind of cool when you say I got a tick. I got a tick. I know it bit me because there was like a little tiny little pee. It's like a little tiny little bite dot. And it's like, that's cool. I did get red and everything and stuff. Trust me, I don't have it. <laughs> Being the new species that I am, I don't have it. Because <laughs> it would have showed up all over my back. Which which means what, Yum? Which means what? I got something. I got something special. <laughs> Mommy loves biology when it comes to blood disorders, genetic disorders, DNA disorders. Disorders and sickness and genetic defects and genetic disorders and genetic diseases. Mommy likes those stuff. Just National Geographic's me to another direction with it. Ow! Let go. Let go. That's it. So I am going to continue quilting, I think. <gasps>
get the fuck off of me. Get off. Ooh. Give me a knuckle sandwich. By the way, we still have certain t-shirts logos at the 21 store. You need to check them out. We still have Snow White, which I'm still trying to sell. We have them both in the sales section for $9. And then we have it at regular price in the color red where she takes the afro from the witch quit the queen witch. And that I th believe is $19.99. Could be $19.99. I don't remember prices. I just remember styles, knits, tops, crops, bandos. I why did you bring this fucking thing back? This style called bandos. Do you know what that is? That's like going into like Jeb 70s like Jeb 70s like drawer and pulling out all the bandanas and then wrapping around your titties. I just I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I pulled Jeb because he's 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 a stylish Spanish person. You really bit the fuck out of me. I don't have that. I don't have that. Don't do that to the dog, Ian. I'll put your ass to sleep. I'll put your ass to sleep. I got enough money to put you and your sister to sleep. Okay? Don't push me. Okay? Okay. Because what's going to happen is it's going to bite neck, toss in the air, bite neck again, toss in the air, bite neck again. One of these with teeth, and then that's it. Maria! You go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't ask how we know that. We had a husky in the corner over here. Actually, I think it was. I think it was just one that attacked it. We lost the cat that way. Lost the cat that way. Someone going to cry because of how we found out that was not how we wanted it. When it comes to these two, no, we don't, we don't, we don't attack the dog. We don't attack the dog. Mommy finds out you attack the dog, I gotta put you to sleep. Okay. Okay. Huh? Okay. I have my reasons for that decision. I have my reasons. Because what will end up happening is because Pumpkin doesn't do anything. Like, she doesn't attack them or anything or hurt them. She does try to bond with them. Unfortunately, I have to respond to the cat side versus the dog because the dog is like sitting there with her chin on the bed, like, please play with me. So, if the cats attack the dog for no damn reason, it's the cats being aggressive. And. That's because they're, they're like high and mighty in their like own way. Like, Miriam is not like that, but if Miriam's pushed to the point where she feels scared out of her freaking fur coat, she'll hurt her. Then I might have to hold off, but you know, being friendly and loving and stuff. And the picture showing in every fucking magnet of you licking these type of dogs. Oh yes, oh yes, there are magnets of this type of cat licking this type of dog like may god bless your home and stuff and you see the cat like like in the like the little cheek of the doggy and it's like you're joking me you're joking me you're like icon religious icon act like it okay you're like a little precious moment act like it act like it So I got a lot going on, and I really don't care. I have like a really big fuck you attitude right now, and...
take it one thing at a time. So yes, I was glad I waited out 21 days because had I filed like a week earlier and this incident took place, I wouldn't have been able to file um, my collision claim on my car. So 250 went out of that. It didn't come out of your stimulus. That stimulus is going to go towards something um, that is a bill. So I just want everybody to know, so I'm well aware of it, and that, um, you know, I am finding places that have now hiring sites that are not hiring. They're just doing it to get customers. Like, like that's another way. Because usually what you do when you go in, you, you buy something, and then you put in your application. I didn't. I'm lazy. Also, 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 I am not one to do credit cards. Like, we, we have to. We have to ask for it. But I'm so into keeping people from returning their goddamn clothes. Like, I just want to let my bosses know. I'm a fellow politician. Now, because I'm into sales and retaining sales, because that's where the money's at for us. And we get about at least... Out of like 40 customers at least 10% in returns and it's usually like well I want to return like three items and usually those items like they yield out like like refunds and stuff I know because like we we hear like which uh, cash register of the managers goes out first with money and stuff so you know, it's important to recognize that if you work in clothing retail or any type of retail where there's a, like a 30 day refund policy, you're fucked. <laughs> you're fucked if you have like one day full. Like, let's say for instance, let's start off with this. I love this business question. So, the CEO of the company asked the programmer to incorporate in the database system an option to look at, um, returns based on dates and on their spreadsheet because they always have a database and then they have spreadsheets so on their spreadsheets they have their daily sales and on the database they're able to look up by day how many um, how many transactions um, were returned based on the purchase date so they're over here trying to figure out their like their sales yield. Yeah, yeah, that's how good I am. That's how good I am. So the question might be like, how many days did they truly lot? Was it truly a loss in sales? And how many days was it truly fifty percent? How many days was it truly twenty percent? How many days was it truly ten percent? Yep, yep, that's me. That's me. That's me. That's my thirty days. This 30 days, that's why. Mm -hmm. So, 30 days. Oh, hang on, I have a question. Is it 21 days from when the person picks it up, the divorce papers? Because I noticed he filed it on, like, February 11th, and I didn't get a chance to pick it up until the 26th. Because I was still, like, trying to, trying to salvage my job. Which is like my dream job because it's straight commission, it's straight sales. Anyways, that's a question you guys can figure out for me. Anyways, but yeah, it's hard to maintain like people to keep their clothes for 30 days. Um, because they look at the receipt, they say that they pay cash or credit card, and then they look at a bill, and it's like, uh, I think I'll return my clothes to see if I can try to pay off the bill. Which is the, which comes down to the question is like, why did you come visit the store in the per, in the first place? So, the sales section is always great. We're always putting stuff in the sales section, but that's not like where we want to put all of our stuff because. There are some clothing article, like articles of clothing that we have that should stay the way it's at, like bell bottom jeans. Bell bottom jeans, the way they make them now, should stay where they're at as far as price goes. Because those are a hard design to make now. Um, what else is there? Bedroom eyes should always stay where it's at as far as price range goes. Maybe deducted by 10%. 
I think it's a little overpriced, but it's good. It's the design is worth the was worth the price. You always lose the ten percent argument. Anybody will anybody that tries to question a CEO about ten percent will always lose. <laughs> Let's get real here. <laughs> Let's get real. Hence the reason why that damn collection's called Sophia. A lot more wisdom than you. I understand that. I understand that. <laughs> but I don't believe, like, well, if you price it a little bit more, the customer will appreciate more of what they bought. What clientele did you see to, to believe that? Like, seriously? Because we don't have that type of clientele <laughs> to say that. Oh my god, what else? Yeah. I mean, our car cargo is not like astronomically like out of this world, but I get it. Nobody wants to apply because of credit cards because they're trying to get rid of it, which is like an obvious. It's an obvious. So I'll try my best, but don't fire me because I can't get a credit card. Because they put on there like you have to have the ability to get on a register and you have to maintain you have to get at least one credit card and I'm like what are you talking about are you nuts people don't want it they don't want credit cards the perks are not what it used to be so they don't want it and a lot of people like they hear 20% and then they think that they're gonna get 20% off their purchase every time they use the card I mean that's not crazy ridiculous like it's, um other stores have that. Other clothing stores have that. But they don't have it as a credit card. They have it called it they call it a membership card. But that's not Forever 21 now, is it? So So I'm just letting you guys know like the kind of craziness that we're going through. I, which is why I don't want to be on register. That means I gotta somehow nail one credit card application. But apparently that's how we make money, but I don't believe that. I don't believe that because everybody pays it off within 30 days when they have a store clothing card, believe it or not. So you don't make money on the APR. You don't make money on the APR. The only person that makes money on the APR is Victoria's Secrets. Sly. <laughs> Sly. That's the honest to God truth. Because everybody loves Tyra. <laughs> everybody loves Tyra. <laughs> Even Eom. Even Eom. If I can make a Victoria's Secret thong quilt, I would, but it don't look right. It don't look right. I'll try, because it's better than throwing them out. <laughs> just don't know how to fucking sew it. Maybe we just sew the ends together. That'll work. And then put, like, and glue it on, like, fabric. I don't know. I don't know. That, that's a difficult AP, AP quilting question. How do you satisfy, satisfy Tyra Banks' Christmas present wish? Who the fuck knows? You guys gotta understand something. These EP questions, these are meant to like make the kids laugh because it's a stressful exam. It really is because when I did my EP biology, half the stuff that was in a book wasn't even on the test. So it was stressful. It is a stressful exam. Especially AP Calc. Um, you study it all semester. And then, like, you study for, like, half of the second second semester. And then you have to take it. And then you come to find out that you only can get, like, a two at most. You're constantly having to eat this stuff. And pretty much that's what you're doing. Especially if you're in, like, a particular high school. Like, here we have, like, five high schools that have their program dedicated to AP testing. And 
That's all they're doing is eating, sleeping, breathing AP. And so yes, it's kind of nice when you get one of those kind of one of those kind of questions on the exams. It's not to like make fun of you or anything. It's to, to let you know that we need certain names to be used on the test to make it enlightening. Because it's a long freaking exam. So don't get offended by what I said. Because I don't have any clue what to do with my thongs when I have to throw them out. So. Because I don't like throwing it out. I kept telling him I don't want this stuff. I don't want it. And I don't get receipts and I don't get the price tags completely intact. So. Oh well.